Sail away Sail away Sail away Sail away Journey is ready for her first cruise with D&I as the new owners. We've done all we could to get her ready for what we believe to be a four-day trip. Yes, we're newbies at cruising and probably set an unrealistic time frame. We provisioned her for our trip across the Gulf and up to Dog River into Mobile, Alabama. Our good friends Chris and Michelle joined us for the crossing and we could not have done it without them. We departed St. Petersburg, Florida early morning on June 29th on a hot, hot June morning. It's hot in St. Pete. By the time we cleared the Skyway Bridge, storms were building in the Gulf of Mexico, which was the path we chose to take for the morning. After fighting the waves up to John's Pass, we turned into the intercoaster for some calm waters. The trip was nice and easy, and I enjoyed some good cruising behind the wheel. Oh, I can't forget the morning excitement around Egmont Key, where we lost a cooler off the boat. The cooler had some gear stored in it. Yep, we forgot to secure it. It floated upright and then fell over lid side down. Nothing came out, and we were able to recover everything. Okay, Chris recovered everything. Our stop for our first night was along Anacloak Key, or more specifically Dutchman Key. I highly recommend this anchorage. It was a beautiful, quiet evening with friends. Shelby was dropped for us to explore the key and enjoy an ice cold beer after our first full day. We had our first sunset from the boat at anchor and listened to the waves crashing on the beach on the other side of the key. Michelle and I watched dolphins play, which included circling the boat to check us out. The evening ended perfectly with steaks off the grill and a fresh salad, and we did a little fishing. We were awakened by a storm around midnight and closed up the hatches, followed by some winds, but the anchor held. Little did we know how much this anchor could and would hold. We completed our first full night on the boat at anchor. So we left Tarpon Springs, Port Ritchie, Anaclet Key this morning, and that's what we left behind. out to the Gulf. Passengers. And we're headed up to Cedar Key. Looks good. Way off in the distance. It's Crystal River. So we're hopeful the next few hours will stay like this and we'll pull into Cedar Key this evening for late afternoon. Our six-hour trip up to Cedar Key provided calm waters, and we pulled in as happy mates. Did I mention all the dolphins that enjoyed the bow and wake of our boat, including this mom and baby? Life is good. We chose an anchorage for early departure. The easy day made it easy for us to not prepare properly. We had an awesome happy hour with margaritas, fruit, and cheese. The evening was perfect, but at this point we had made three mistakes. First, never anchor to leave easy. Anchor for protection. Second, Never anchor near a channel marker. Third, check the weather more than you need to and then check it again. That night we survived strong winds and storms from about 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. Around midnight our snubber line broke, but the anchor held. With Chris's help, the snubber line was rigged for the night and a few more anchors were thrown out, but our main anchor held all night. We woke to more winds and rain and lots of anchors to pull, three to be exact. Fighting the storms around us, we prepared for a wind to move further into Cedar Key. We finally were able to make our move as the day turned hot and sunny with still waters. We knew in front of us were bad storms and we needed some rest and a day to recharge from the long night. After the snubber lines were replaced, we jumped into Shelby for a trip into Cedar Key for a good meal and some AC. While in Cedar Key, we secured some water, ice, and had a great meal at Steamers. The view of our boat from the restaurant was the best. It seemed appropriate to do the renaming ceremony after the previous night. We chilled the champagne, opened the wine, and began. We graciously entertained the gods and thanked the previous owner before naming her ours. We used the Blue Water Sailing Renaming Ceremony to rename her Journey. Ring the ship's bell and call the ceremony to order. Ring. Once more. We just got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dude. Dave's are knocked out now. Yep. 
supposed to drink or no? Opening oh. invocation, and then oh. we'll drink. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have pause it. Lots of bales. <laughs> you never have too many ships bail. There you go. We didn't All say right. how many. All right. Dear Lord, we thank you for this uh, ship, and we ask that you continue to bless it as you have blessed it in the past. In the name of all who have sailed aboard this vessel in the past, and in the name of all who may sail aboard her in the future, we invoke the ancient gods of wind, Aeolus, and the sea, Neptune, also hailed as Poseidon, to favor us with their blessing today. Most of all, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, mighty Neptune, king of all that moves in or on the ways, and mighty Aeolus, guardian of the winds and all that blows before them. We offer drinks for the protection that you have afforded this vessel in the past. We offer gratitude that she has always found shelter from tempest and storm and enjoys safe passage to port. A toast to... Sorry. Keep bringing that bell all you want, Michelle. This is a booze inducing. <laughs> this technology induces. To Colorado Cat and owners to expunge all, for all time from your records and recollection the name Colorado Cat. And there and now therefore we submit this application that the name of this vessel has hitherto been known as Colorado Cat, be struck and removed from your records and archives. You can see, Almighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage, implore you in your graciousness to take into your records and recollection this worthy vessel hereafter and for all time known as Journey, guarding her with your mighty arm and trident and ensuring her safe and rapid passage through her firm. We should have done this before last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last night we should have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almighty rulers of the winds, through whose power and frail vessels traverse the wild and baseless deep, we implore you to grant this worthy vessel journey the benefits and pleasures of your bounty. We can drink out of the bottle. Mm. Mm. Good call, Mr. Long. Well, shoot the birds. <laughs> oh! Bring your pressure. Yay! <laughs> Zephyrus, exalted ruler of the West Wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming skirt scourge of your wild breath. And catch that fish. <laughs> to Alias. Wait, it keeps going. Two. It keeps going three or four. No, if I know how to stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neptune, you spirit god of the waters, great and small, on this vessel, by your grace, allow these sons and daughters, all who, all to pass from port of hailing to their port of call, and on these sailing subjects, make your, your geni, gentle blessings fall. You who cause the seas to rage or lie in sweet repose, please list to we mariners here, your servants of the flows, to this ship, the captain, crew, and all those who love the wind and sea will follow where thee goes. To Neptune. Or Poseidon. Good times. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Let it be recorded on this day. July 1st, 2018, and forevermore, this fine vessel is named Journey. I name this ship Journey. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> to Journey. And now Michelle will dance. <laughs> um, yes. yes, we have all kinds of stories to tell. <laughs>
We've had a little bit of complications, a couple of scary moments, but um, yeah, we'll tell you. you know, we have to wait till the whole thing's over. We'll tell you what, what we have to deal with. <laughs> There's a pass. I know this because I used to run out this area. We left early and just in time to keep the storms at our back all day. Perfect weather and blue, blue seas. Chris did some fishing, but we were only able to reel in a big catch around the horn. Chris reeled in a large bonita, and although we would not have eaten this fish, Chris only reeled in half as a barracuda enjoyed the other half after he was hooked. From the horn, Carabelle quickly came into sight and we had celebratory beers with Michelle as she made it across not seeing land and not getting seasick. Rain seemed to be following us as the sun set, and we made anchor off St. George Island near Apalachicola. Half of our first journey was complete. Sail away. Sail away. Sail away. Sail away.